Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Monday morning trading session. I trust everyone had a nice weekend. All right, so uh, the market's just opened up here. Uh, this is the NASDAQ that we're looking at. Again, uh, just a very quick overview for those of you new in the trading room this morning. Welcome. Uh, we've got the Hawk Scalper here on the top left, Falcon Swing Trader top right, Eagle Trend Trader bottom left, and the Raptor on the bottom right. Uh, this morning I'm following the NASDAQ. I'm also watching crude oil and soybeans. But uh, please don't be shy. Uh, ask questions or request markets. And I'll do my best to accommodate. Okay, so we've got the NASDAQ here now, a little bit of an opening gap. You can see they're trying to get into that gap and fill it. This is where the market left off on Friday. They closed around 48.06, and we're opening here around 48.20. A little bit of a rally through the overnight, early Sunday morning. I'm going to give them a moment here to settle in before I get too crazy. Scalper here giving us a first micro macro cross lower right out of the open and that has fallen off hit our profit objective and now we're slowing a little bit let's see what else we got here working a possible trend change here on the Falcon the Falcon swing trader so we've got the trend line has changed over from green to red we've got this down portion here comes the up portion I may try to take this one short it's a little bit early It might be trying to get a little bit more bullish on us, but we'll see. We'll see whether or not they can't get down here and really get into this gap. Get back down here to where the market left off last week, uh, right down here around this 4805, 4806 area where they closed. And of course, it's still early. We're only five minutes into the session. It's this hard edge as well that's giving me a little bit of pause. Oh, all right. Well, pause or not, here we go. I'm going to delete my profit objective and my break even. And you can see the Falcon actually 
uh, producing two double dots here. This does happen occasionally with the falcon. here in my journal. stop now. There we go, they're trying. If I can get a breach here of this low, around 4809, 4810, or pardon me, 4810, 4810, 4809, that will enable me to roll my stops in a little bit. Here come the sellers again. Come on. This little swing low down here. <laughs> Very important right now. And I'm debating even rolling my stop in above here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it in above this little crest in the trend line, which would be pretty close to 
uh, where the market opened this morning. Just to take a little bit off the table there. Wow, they are holding tough. Obviously, a lot of uh, support here around the 48.10 region. says Chicago PMI report out in three minutes time. Well, we'll see whether or not that sparks the market at all. stinkers. All right, let's see what else we have going on here. Um, yeah, the Raptor working on a cloud crossover signal. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got the cloud crossover. Uh, the market came out, produced a signal. Uh, now this may actually turn into a soft edge buy. Ideally, I'd like to see this come up, produce another sell si signal. That would be our double pullback. That would pretty much nix the buyers at least for a few minutes. It's this hard edge that's giving us all the grief. Whenever we encounter the hard edge here on the Eagle, we always anticipate some sort of reaction. And I'm doing my best to be patient with the trade, not to get too crazy with my stops. See, they just keep keep hammering on these lows. Yep, forty eight ten. Make a note of that number. This is going to get a little bit dicey for our trade. If the sellers can't knock them down this time, we're very likely going to see a rally.
breach that 4809 area already. Come on. Let's see, we got 4809 three quarters, 4810, There's a whole lot of buying going on here. If the sellers can breach this area, we're going to see a few of the buyers jump ship. And maybe look to buy at uh, 4805 half and more likely 4794 half. I think that would be a reasonable reasonable profit objective first things first Come again. Dog got it. <clears throat> We're gonna make a run at this morning's highs. Let's see, where did we open the day? Forty eight nineteen quarters, the high of the morning. Not playing nice. A lot of sideways trading. Almost near the top of the hour. Another nine minutes, and that will be 
the end of opening range. Okay, that was a little bit of a bullish push through here and no follow through so far. So things looking up a little bit for my short position, but again, this 4810 area can be a little problematic if we can't breach that. As we get back here toward these familiar numbers, we're going to see the uh, buyers try to dig in again. All right, here we go. Come on, get down there. All right, here we are. Same neighborhood as before, 48.10 half, 48.10 quarter. Oh, there they go. You see that little shot lower as the buy orders or the exit orders of the buyers which would be sell orders were engaged so a quick little move down let's see now we need to see some follow through here as there's a little bit more aggressive buying and hopefully we can see the sellers press a little bit more there we go Enable my stops now. Come on, don't stop now. Where's the follow through? They broke the low. Here's the retest. Come on, get down there. The buyers are stubborn. All right. I'll enable this again and look for the bears to uh, continue pushing the market lower and well if they don't I guess they don't I'll force the trade to break even and there we go that's what we got no get away from there Oh, really? 
Come on. After breaching 4810, after all that, this is the follow through we get. I know it's the median line, 4805 half, for essentially 486, which is, I think, where that bottomed out. No, 4806 half. So we're in the neighborhood here of this median line, which is acting as support now. Come on, just one more good push. If we breach that 4806 area, we should be good to go. Can do it. By the way, if we if we went all in all out, I think we'd be at our profit target already, or would have kissed the profit target. There we go. There's our profit, our high probability profit target. So there's a hundred bucks sitting there waiting for you if you want it. Well, if you want it, that's a silly question. Come on. Ooh, they're sticking to this line. Well, after all that, I'm going to get tapped forty eight ten and a quarter. our way through it. It's a struggle this morning. My goodness, what a fight. but I would have done better had I gone all in, all out. All right. Just made a note of that in my trading journal. All right. It looks as though the trend has turned over. Now we are a little bit more on the bearish side. I suspect we will see the NQ trickle lower. But right now we're definitely in a bit of a pullback. So we've broken through the band to the short side. 
likely to come up from underneath, tag it again. And maybe continue lower. Falcon coming right back with now a late filter entry signal. We only have the warning dots at the moment. We don't have the complete signal. We do need to wait for the filter to turn over. And it won't do that until this bar finishes on the low. Here on the hook, we had a four arrow consolidation. How did that one slip past me? So first micro macro cross followed by one, two, three, four signals. Also a macro pullback. As the NQ continues lower. All right, here's that lead filter entry signal now. So we can look at doing a second push on that one. Or if you prefer, uh, even take it below this low. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, here, I think I might try that. Take it below this low, cover there. late filter entry
So the late filter entry here on the Falcon now occurs when the filter goes out of sync and then comes back into sync, but it's very important that the whole time the trend line itself does not change color. There's a definite struggle going on here though. Again, we're just parked right here on this median line. There we go, come on. Come on, gee, birds, they're hanging on tough. Well, we're just going to have to sit with it. So all this sideways action that we're seeing here, very, very balanced market.
much to look at, so we'll just put that back on the shelf for now. Really thought we'd get some faster follow through on that, but did not happen. Well, it looks like um, the sellers are starting to lose their grip on the market again. Technically, we're in a downtrend, but we just can't get the follow through. Way to go, Tony. Tony says he went uh, went short on the macro line pullback here in crude oil. <laughs> right here. And uh, two contracts for a total of 40 ticks. Is this, <laughs> Tony asks, is a scalp that took 45 minutes still a scalp? <laughs> I know. Isn't it a crazy kind of day today? 
I almost think it's going to be like this the remainder of the week. You know, the election, I think, is putting a real wrinkle in the markets. Yeah, you guys could be right. Um, Kenny writes the Fed decision Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern, and hence sluggish markets until then expected. Yeah, I, I can see that as well. Overall, though, the markets tend to be a little bit more active than this, but whatever. Can't do much about that, can we? And Denton mentions, uh, unless more Clinton emails are released, and it could dump the market like it did Friday mid-morning. I think, I do believe, though, that the markets are kind of uh, on hold with the election. unless something really sparks the market. Ain't trading fun? <laughs> Brutally quiet.
Uh, Tony asks, are we going to be shutting down for Christmas? Yes. You know, traditionally, um, that week between Christmas and New Year's is when a lot of the uh, traders take a break. Uh, the markets can be a little bit thinner than usual. Sometimes you get some exceptional moves. But, yeah, we're going to be taking, taking a little bit of downtime. We're going to be staying home for Christmas this year. The last couple of years we've been away over the Christmas holidays, but uh, we might look at getting away in the in the spring. So it's kind of like trading in slow motion. The market broke down, the band turned over. Now we've come back, we're into the hard edge of the trading band, looking for the market to push prices lower now out of that band. I hope. I'm not liking this uh, recent little rally that we got going on here. Not liking it at all. So the bulls are going to give it a push now since the bears haven't been a, unable to muster the market.
shoot, we're only an hour into the session. It seems like we've been doing this all morning. So we do have the first micro macro cross here on the Hawk. And of course, it is a high probability signal. There could be some follow through from that. But once again, we're into the hard edge on the Eagle and the Raptor. Well, we'll hang with it a little while longer still, but honestly, uh, I think we may as well shut down the room. Because it's unlikely we're going to see anything significant happen here this morning. All right, you know what, I think we're going to uh, close down the room a little bit early here. I know it's only an hour into the session, but things are terribly uh, slow right now. If you're going to stay with the market, I do believe we're going to see one more leg lower here. Um, I guess it's time I get a little bit more aggressive with my stop, maybe look at uh, you know, getting all in, all out or at least getting the trade down to a break-even situation. 
if the market will allow me one more leg lower. But honestly, I don't think we're going to be missing much if we uh, shut things down here for now. So why don't we call it a day and um, we'll try this again tomorrow. Hopefully there will be a little bit more follow through. We'll talk to you then. Bye for now.